Hello, good day friend. Today we'll talk on C sharp cancellation token. That is how we can cancel a task. So let's start. We use cancellation token to cancel a task. Cancellation token we get this token from cancellation token source object. So first we need to create a cancellation token source object and from that we will get the token. And then we can pass the token to different task. And once we call the cancel method on that cancellation token source object, the token has a property is cancel requested, which you can check in different task. And that property will be set to true. So that is how uh, different task will be uh, able to know that whether uh, cancellation has been requested or not. So let us see this in action. Uh, so I'm here in Visual Studio console application. So let me start. Let me start with a cancellation token source object. Okay, so this is not in the intelligence. The reason because I need to import uh, the namespace cancellation token source object is in system dot threading namespace. This is not in system dot threading dot tasks namespace. So we need to import system dot threading dot namespace separately. Okay, got it. Now let create the token. Uh, we created the token. Now let me create task mm, sorry Run. let me take a lambda and here we will test uh, with string interpolation we'll check for task uh, task one we'll check the status we take two tasks okay this is now let me run it so you see both are false as cancellation has not been requested now if I go and if I um, the, on the source object if we call the cancel method before we call the cancel method let's simulate some kind of um, in uh, like okay so let's run it okay you see for the task one it is false then as we have requested uh, the cancel method so the Cancellation request property is coming true for the task 2. Now I would like to show you one more way that uh, what will happen uh, if we call it from another from a task. So if I take uh, task say 3. So let me put it after this task. This is task 2 and then uh, we will have task. This is task 3. Now say let me make it multi-line. Uh, okay, this is multi-line task. And then here I'm calling source dot uh, cancel A delay. Say seven hundred millisecond and wait and remove this delay. We run it. See from other another task also we can cancel it and that will affect the task down the line. So this is how cancellation uh, works in task.
Thank you for watching this.